Good morning. Welcome back to the early show here on News Channel 10 too. I've got Katrina Marlowe here. She's from the BSA Sleep Lab. And with Better Sleep Month right around the corner next month, uh, she's here to tell us about creating not only good sleeping habits for yourself, but if you're a parent for your children as well. And uh, it's so important. I, I mean, I've got a whole list of tips here and half of this I didn't even know. I mean, uh, so just kind of what are you guys trying to do to create better sleep habits or at least inform the public? We do put pamphlets out. We go to health fairs and discuss sleep issues, sleep habits, and things like that at sleep fairs just to help people get better sleep. And what are, you know, as adults, you know, it says that we need about seven to eight hours. Obviously, that's the recommended, but right. what do we need to do to get the most out of those seven to eight hours while we're asleep? You're going to always kind of start your day and plan your day like that. So like in the daytime, you want to cut your caffeine in the afternoons, late evening, cut really sugar drinks and things like that and then prepare yourself for bed. You're gonna make a habit, so like, you're gonna just teach yourself, this is the routine that says I'm going to sleep, just like with any other routine that you build. So maybe you take a bath, or you read, or you, you do something where you're not stimulated by you know electronic devices to get that light out of your eyes. Even if it's just sitting around the table and chatting with somebody, you build that habit every day. So then when you know when you get up, take your bath, you go to bed. And one of the things on here that I saw, and we were just talking about it before we started, was, uh, for those of you that like to go asleep with the TV on, you're actually messing with your sleeping habits a little bit. Yes, the TV actually will stimulate your brain through your eyelids. So you want a dark, quiet room, you want a nice, cool room, but you want to reduce stimulation in that room. Even for kids, if you have to have a nightlight, get a very dim, low nightlight, something that's not going to say wake up. And helping create sleeping habits for kids is one of the toughest things. They always yes. want to be up running around and you guys have a recommended number of hours for school ages 6 through 13. You want 9 to 11 hours of sleep. Mm -hmm. And uh, I see one of the tips here is having about an hour of quiet time before bed yes. as well. That's, a lot of times that's a time a parent can sit down with their child, read with their child, just anything that's relaxing, not energizing, not exercising. And you can see on your screen, for those of you that are tuning in, adults 7 to 8 hours, teenagers 14 to 17, around 8 to 10, and then it kind of gradually climbs the younger the child gets. So be sure and take these into consideration and learn more about better sleeping habits because it certainly does affect your day. Well, we want to thank you, Katrina, for coming in this thank morning. Thank you.